know what that sound means. It's time to find out what's new, what's hot, and what's not in the automotive industry. Well, this week we have a 2022 Acura MDX Type S. Now, before you turn the video off, we don't normally do reviews on the previous gen vehicle, but nothing has changed for 2023. So this is a perfect one for us to take on a road trip to Orlando for a volleyball tournament. What do you say? Four or 500 miles each way? We ought to really get to know what this MDX is like. And take it from me, we really had a good time in it. Few things we might've changed. Well, all in all, this MDX is one to compete in the SUV market. Well, let's go inside where we always start, look around, and then we'll show you some highlights from our road trip. As soon as we get inside of this MDX, it immediately gives us a really sporty feel. This flat bottom steering wheel, the red Type S badging inside of here, the even sport inspired seats with adjustable side bolsters, adjustable leg support here at the bottom, adjustable lumbar support, massaging heated and cool seats for both front seat passengers. Not to mention heated seats for the second row passengers. It's luxury and sport all wrapped into one. And an extra bonus, a third row that folds flat. So whether you're taking two, four, or seven people, there's enough room for everybody in here. If you gotta take all their luggage, lucky for you, that third row falls flat into the floor, so it's got room for all of our cargo. Just check it out. And there's a bit of technology here too. Hands-free lift gate allows you to get all of this stuff behind that second row. As you can see here behind the third row, it's not tons of room, but there's decent cargo capacity here for a vehicle of this size. And we do have luggage racks on top. You get the accessory, you can even take seven people and all their luggage in this MDX. Here below the floor, there's additional storage. This is where we kept our snacks. And some people like to bring a lot of extra things for the trip. You can fold these seats down, and now you have tons of cargo space. So parents, you know like I do, this second row is really important if you're gonna be taking teens and preteens around. You gotta have space and you gotta have access. The seats slide forward and back. They recline for those long road trips. You have sunshade to block out the sun. You also have tri-zone climate controls so the second row passengers can control their own temperature settings. Then you have standard outlets, you have a 120 volt outlet, two USB charging ports, and AC vents here in the middle. So maybe have AC vents here on the B pillar to keep the air flowing on the second row. Now you can see here this center console actually is just a seat but if you want to have cup holders fold it down there's storage here for the things as well as two cup holders but if you're like us and you needed a place for that cooler for the trip and this comes right out you can put extra things right here and leave this seat at home but now another true test let's see what it's like getting in the third row of this MDX Well, it wasn't terribly difficult to get in here. It's pretty tight when you're back here. Good thing these seats slide forward because it'll give you a little extra space. No place that a grown-up wants to ride for any extended period of time though. You even have USB charging ports on both sides here in this third row, cup holders for you, and this sound system with these speakers, they may forget all about being in the third row. This MDX Type S is a performance SUV. It's great for families on road trips, but most of the time, we're gonna be driving it around town in situations like this. We often talk about the acceleration and driving characteristics of electric vehicles. And while I'm not trying to compare this MDX acceleration to any electric vehicle because it's nowhere near there, when you dial this thing over to Sport Plus, it's, if you have never driven an electric vehicle, you won't be missing it. It's all there in this MDX, and it does it with flair. But the thing that's most impressive is 
when you dial this dynamic mode control back over to comfort, it feels like you're driving an expensive luxury SUV. So it's one of the ones that you can get the beauty and the beast. And one of the biggest things, the best things about that is when you get the beauty, you don't have to be reminded that the beast is there. So there's no loud exhaust note. There's not a lot of vibration in the cabin here. The accelerator is not overly antsy. You're not gonna be jerking at the traffic lights. It's really calming once you switch it back to the comfort mode. So I think Acura has done a great job on this MDX and the way that it drives. The shift of this transmission is amazing. It's almost a pleasure just to listen to the engine as the transmission goes through the gears. The shifts are quick, precise. You hear it, but you don't feel it. It's what every electric vehicle and hybrid vehicle, in my estimation, should have as the drivetrain. Well, maybe not the electric cars, but it's certainly the hybrids. I like hearing the change in the engine noise and speed as it goes through its gears. I don't know if you can hear it or feel it, but those shifts were quick and crisp and it kept us moving along. However, you might be able to tell now that it's in Sport Plus mode, that active suspension really does let the driver feel every bump and every imperfection in the road. Now this isn't how I want to ride around town, but if you're a sports-minded person and you like a sports car feel, just turn this dial a couple times and hold it in the Sports Plus position and you got all the sport and all the connection to the road that you could ever want. But if you've ever driven here in Atlanta on these roads, this comfort mode is really what you want to have your vehicle in driving around here. And comfort mode really does make a big difference. The steering is really light, easy. You don't lose a lot of acceleration in comfort mode, but you do miss all of those bumps on the road. And as you can tell, navigating through town here in Atlanta, this three row SUV is really easy to move around town. So on this 800 mile road trip, 400 miles there and 400 miles back, one of the things that I um, was a bit surprised by was the rain. With a full tank, we were looking at around 275 to 280 miles of range. When you have a seven passenger SUV, this is one of those vehicles that you take on road trips and you would certainly expect to be able to drive 400 miles without having to stop for gas and you can't. Uh, a V6, it's not a V8. We're not talking about some huge, uh, supposed to be gas guzzler, but in fact, it's not great on fuel as well. We're averaging about 19 miles per gallon city and highway. On the highway, we got about 21 to 22 miles per gallon. We were pushing it a little bit. However, I think Accurate needs to go back to the drawing board when it comes to fuel efficiency. But Accurate, if you're listening, if that means taking away the performance or changing out this really smooth transmission for some CVT transmission, I can deal with going to the gas station a few extra times on my road trip. But that premium gas part, that gets to be expensive. As you can see, when we were leaving Orlando to come back home, granted, we did stay near the Disney Resort, so there was a bit of a price gouging going on there. Gas was $8.99 a gallon. Can you believe it cost me $116 to fill this up? But for the money, it's going to be hard for anyone to beat the Acura MDX. There are a lot of three-row SUVs out here. There's a lot of talk about the other brands like Toyota and Lexus, GM, Ford. We hear all this noise and talk about the Kia Telluride, the Hyundai Palisade. And while those are really nice vehicles, when it comes to attention to detail, fit, finish, and the quietness of this cabin, this amazing audio system in this MDA, I have had to now rethink a lot of my ideas about some of the other brands. I worked for an Acura dealer for almost 15 years as a service manager. So if there's any vehicle I know about, the maintenance, the warranty, the care after you purchase your vehicle, Acura is that brand. This is one of the ones that 
even if you do have an issue, a challenge with your Acura after you take ownership, it's a brand that does all they can to help you. I mean, from the people to the engineering, this is one of the brands that supports the buyer once you buy the vehicle. And based on everything from our road trip from Atlanta to Orlando and back, I guess it's about 800 miles we put on this vehicle this week, maybe a little bit more driving around town. It's one of the most pleasing, comfortable vehicles I've had the pleasure of driving in a really long time. And not to keep just piling on accolades for this NDX, it also has adjustable height control. I don't know if any of you would ever take your $70,000 luxury SUV off-road, but isn't it nice to know you can? You can raise this vehicle up to two inches over its standard height. And it also lowers when you go into that sport plus mode to add for more aggressive handling. What does this MDX not do? That's all the time we have today on the Auto Insider, but for more of what's new, what's hot, and what's not, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, then download the SoundCloud app and listen to all of our reviews in their entirety. The 2022 Acura MDX Type S. Is it hot or is it not? With these multiple drive modes that you can really feel the difference in, enough room for seven people, and the ability to drive an SUV like a sports car, we'd have to say this MDX is hot. Till next week, I'm Daryl Killian for the Auto Insider.